audio and video live on RTC Channel 4. Hello, Scott. Good morning, sir. Scott back in the studio today with his own coffee cup all set, ready to go. And, of course, if you have a smartphone or an Android device, you can download a TuneIn radio app or something similar. Take us wherever you happen to be going, which today will be to the 50th Anniversary Customer Appreciation Day at First Federal Savings Bank, where you will say hello to Dick Beltram. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for that look. 50 it, years. 50 years, that's yeah. right. That's and, something else. And, and, uh, we start about 11 o'clock. Okay. We've got uh, pulled pork and... Uh, uh, special we do it once every 50 years ice cream <laughs> <laughs> so so if we miss it today we've got to wait another yeah, 50 years until wait. we do it again yeah, right you can imagine what ice cream would be like in 50 oh, years oh i know yeah well we have sally by the shore is going to do right. this and uh, we're looking forward to that so we got some great weather coming this weekend could be a nice weekend yes it, it is great weekend get through the fog today we're all set ready to go right that's right was it foggy out of your house yes okay yes just checking. I had to feel my way in. I see. Well, you made it, though. That's good. I made it, yeah. We uh, we got the fair coming up. We do. We've got some special guests here today. We do. We have the queen. That's right. From last night. Wow. Welcome. That's exciting. We're glad to have all of you here this morning. We'll talk to them a little later. Okay. Okay, now, uh, Trump is considering Pence for running. Maybe? Considering, yes. He may win by default. Everybody else is dropping out. <laughs> Well, then the Republicans in the state of Indiana got an issue. Who well, they got to run for and they've government. got, and they've got. I think Barron told me they've got like six weeks to get that done. They got to hustle yeah. through it. It's quite a process. Yeah, it will not happen. I don't Trump think it'll happen Trump either. We'll pick Pence. Although you remember, uh, Bush picked uh, Quail. Quail, Dan Quail. That's right. That was that's like, right. What? Yeah, really. Who Dan Quail? Who that's really Dan str Quail? Stranger things have happened in politics. No doubt about it. Okay, uh, we'll see what happens there. Okay, 4-H uh, fairs coming up. I got a little fair trivia. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, uh, well, these guys are ready. They're going to answer. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, how, how many people are signed up for 4-H this year? Is it 287, 352, or 440? Oh, yeah, we'll mull that over, right? Uh, Somebody, yeah. you, one of you guys knows that, right? <laughs> yeah, you can see. You can see that they do. They're right on it. <laughs> They're right on it. Yeah, okay. The Warriors. Golden State, two years, 54 million. Not a bad contract. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of loading the dice, isn't it? To well, it's, it was his choice. So, uh, the way they play the game, uh, that's the way they do it. I guess so. Hmm. Okay. Can't beat them, join them, right? Well, the big news in uh, college football is uh, Notre Dame and Michigan have rescheduled. 2018. And 19. And 19. Okay, good. Two, two, well, that was a rivalry. I never understood why they ended that in the first place. That was tradition. Well, yeah. Well, Purdue played them for yeah. centuries. Well, it's because of the, inter the, the other conference. You have to play so many... Uh, conference games? Conference games. Oh, okay. Although the football program is not in a conference, as I understand it. Okay. Scott. Hello. <laughs> he's, he's mulling that over, yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. He only knows IU football. Well, you know, he's excited about IU football this year. They have an outside chance. Of what? A decent team. <laughs> been a long time since I've been oh, excited yeah. about IU football. We went to a bowl last year. Yeah, I know. We've had a couple of times. but Yeah, yeah and you beat the Boilermakers. That wasn't hard this year. <laughs> it should be a good contest. That bucket battle should be good this year. Well, I hope. <laughs> well, you still got your season tickets, though, to Purdue, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't give them up yet. You, know, you look like a beleaguered IU fan. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, got a little come faith back to the Golden Black. <laughs> it, it, it's tough when, when you can't go to the game. And you can't give your tickets away. I understand. Only IU people would understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The annual Lake Manitou Association Lake Fest dinner and auction is tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow evening, starting at six o'clock. Right. At the Moose. Right. Tickets are twenty-five bucks, and got a big drawing. Right there. And that evening concludes, you know, at the Elks Lodge with the uh, Sentimental Journey. I heard that. Out on the patio. But uh, about nine o'clock. 
so we can make a night of it. Oh, absolutely. My night on beautiful Lake Manitou. And the weather's going to be perfect. Oh, and just dynamite. Dynamite. Well, and the, the moose, they, they are giving away some nice case drawings. They are. Drawings. Right. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, they got two five thousand dollar grand prizes, and I think uh, several one thousand dollar prizes as well. So is that five thousand dollars if you win it? Is that taxable? Oh, I'm sure that it probably is, mm -hmm. isn't it? What's yeah. what's the magic number anymore? Five thousand, six thousand, somewhere in there. Okay. Fifth annual Lake Manitou five K run walk is Saturday at the Rochester Moose Family Center. Yep, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, get out there. Round Barn Golf Club at Mill Creek will offer free golf cart tours for citizens who have never been on or would like to see the golf course. The tour will cover the entire course and make a free stop at the swimming pool and driving range. Tours are tentatively scheduled at 7 p.m. Saturday, July 23rd. That's kind of a good idea. Very good idea. It's a beautiful course. It is. And, and the people that don't play golf, uh, they don't realize how right. it is. And uh, it's a great complex with the swimming pool there, driving range, and you bet. Uh, I'll thank the U.S. government for giving uh, that fish hatchery, the yeah. old fish hatchery, right. many, many years ago. Bill Shore kind of engineered that whole, whole project. The Friends of the Fulton County Parks and Recreation Department is raffling a 10-foot kayak. Tickets are $5 each, and the number of tickets is limited to 250 Okay. So, buy it. Get your ticket. Yeah. They're going to have the drawing the last day of the fair. Rochester Dairy Queen donates 10% of sales from 4 p.m. to close July 18th uh, to the Fulton County Coral. Proceeds will help the club. Uh, and, and the proceeds will go for the uh, music needs of the club. Okay. And that's July 14th. That's the third. It's coming Thursday. Okay. Anyone interested in learning comic improvisation is invited to uh, to a series of workshops at the Heart Heartery in Kiwana. I was going to say they're 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 invited to listen to the back issues of this program. Right? <laughs> <laughs> comic improv, right there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> No? Okay. Well, well we, you know. Well, we, we talked a little while ago, you know, you were talking about in, in June we had our 20th anniversary. The last last show in June, right. Yeah. But you didn't even get a cake or anything? No, no cake, no nothing. No yeah. candles. Got to watch the next billing. You know. <laughs> 50 years is when you get the cake and candles no, and right. ice cream. And ice cream. Okay. Uh, right, ice cream. It takes 50 years for that. Well, they got four or five uh, different flavors of ice cream, and one of it is the uh, birthday flavor. Excellent. Special. Special. Special today. Okay, good. Okay, Fulton County Historical Society Museum are among the historical sites and landmarks featured in the new book, Road Trip, A Pocket History of Indiana by Adrian Neal released by the Indiana Historical Press for the Indiana Bicentennial. Okay. So, you might find that interesting. Yeah, that's right. Okay, some milestones. Cynthia Sawyer is 80 today. Ah. She denies it. But, okay. Uh, some flowers uh, to everybody that's involved in the 4-H program. It's a great program. It is. It's been going for many, many years. And uh, we're in second and third generations and fourth generations of people of leadership, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Kyle Clausen. Sure. Grandfather David Clausen. Mm -hmm. Got a building out there named after. Yep, named the theater. Yep. Okay. Okay, we've we've talked about this in the past. Thistles along the railroad sides. Okay. That that comes under weeds. Weeds. This morning. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's it's a Indiana law that you cut thistles in oh, okay. the state of Ohio, state of Indiana, uh, and uh, well, you can just see them every place. I they know, are. They're tough to control. Rampant. It. And it's uh, they're blooming now, and we'll be going to seed. So that means more thistles. More thistles. No. Uh, we, 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 we need to be thistle less. <laughs> <laughs> 
at Purdue to figure out some way. Well, I do too. There you go. Utilize That's it. an agriculture thing, sure. Yeah. Make fuel out of thistle. Yeah, yeah. Thistle fuel. I like it. Hey, we're on to it. They can figure that we're out at Purdue. It. Yeah. <laughs> That threw him off track, didn't I? Oh, well. Down. It happens. All right. We'll, we'll call on you one day. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dow is down 22 yesterday. Closed at 17,895. Right. It's come back pretty well. Yeah, not a bad week. Not a good week necessarily, but not a bad week. You familiar with hoverboards? Uh-huh. They're recalling. Yeah. They, they a whole up. bunch of them. They blow up. Yeah, they're recalling <laughs> a whole bunch of them. Mm. Okay. I bought gas yesterday for a dollar ninety-seven a gallon. Okay. What's that tell you? Uh, it's down. Price is mm -hmm. down. Okay. Okay. Noah's Ark. Right. It's in we're, Kentucky. Yeah, we're recreating it in Kentucky. Yeah. Right. Right. Hundred million dollars. Yeah, it's a big project. It's uh, the length of two football fields. It is. It's a big deal. Yeah. And the state of Kentucky put kicked in seventeen million. Yeah. And then once it's all done, you can tour that, but you have to pay like what fifty bucks or something. Yeah. yeah. Forty, forty. I think. Yeah, to to be able to go in and, and tour it. What well, opened yesterday? Oh, it did. Okay. Yeah, so you could go down this weekend. I don't think I will, but you know, thanks for the invitation. You going down this weekend? No. Okay. No, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. At first federal, we're open today till five o'clock. Tomorrow, eight thirty to noon. ATM is always open. We got, as we talked about, we got lots of things going on down there today. We got uh, Townsend's are going to be there. Right. Channel Four is going to be there. WRO. I you bet. We're all going to be there. We're all assembling at first federal. The ice cream truck will be there. And the money machine will be there. That's right. Now, you know, I get a lot of comments over the years. Well, when are you going to give money away? <laughs> well, today we're giving Today's money the away. day. <laughs> Go to the ATM, and they'll show you how to get some free money. All right. We, we gave uh, last week in Plymouth. We had a customer appreciation day there. And uh, we gave away almost $800. Yeah. So Exciting. Well, your shredder's going to be there today, too. Our shredder. That's right. Free. Right. So get... Whatever you need. I think it's really cool too. Yeah. Really cool. Oh, you can see them. Grind it right oh, I know. Grinds it right up. Yeah. And you, if you need a certificate of, of uh, they'll give it to you. Grinding it up. Right. So when IRS comes and audits you, ah. oh, sorry, gone, long gone. <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay. Well, interest rates were down again this week. Uh, we've said this long, long time. <laughs> so for and I'll say now. it again that they will go up sometime. But <laughs> since rates dropped again this week, uh, there's uh, some of you out there that probably are, uh, it would be cost effective, not cheap, <laughs> cost effective uh, to uh, refinance. Yeah, that's right. Take a look at it. So you could talk to John or Ben down at, uh, in Rochester or Bill over in Winnipeg and uh, they can uh, help you with that. Also, we're sending out new debit cards, ATM cards. You know, some have already received them. Uh, so we're switching to MasterCard, and I think you'll find the service better and uh, the product better. So uh, More security too, right? Uh, the security is a big deal. Okay. It's got the it's got chip. The, uh, the magic button. Yeah, yeah, I got the chip in it. Okay. <clears throat> That's what slows you up at Walmart. Yeah. Right. I suppose when you get that, though, you have to call into a particular number yeah. to activate it. Mm -hmm. And then your other card becomes cut up yes. type yeah. stuff. Okay. Bury it in the backyard. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save it for another 50 there years to bring it back. Right. <laughs> First Federal's FDIC insured and an equal housing lender. And our MNLS number is 3909 That's one. We're all legal now. We are. We're we, we are now above we get to, board. get to the meat of the Yeah, that's right. Stuff. The important part of the program, right? There you go. Right. Okay, Kyle Clausen, welcome. We're glad to have you here. You're, you're chairman of the uh, Fair Board this year. Yes, sir. This is your first year? 
Yes. Have you learned anything? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> By experience, right? Yes. <laughs> Alyssa. Hi. <laughs> New queen, crown last night. Yep. Oh, say yes. 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 Okay. Speak right in the mic. So there you go. Hear. Okay. And Reagan, Reagan Newton, uh, you're uh, chairman of the charitable lady of the uh, Queen Contest. Tell us about last night, what happened? Well, last night we had some exciting events. Like you said, Alyssa Fagner is our new 2016 4-H Fair Queen. Um, along with that, her court includes first runner-up Brittany Walker, second runner-up Adriana Dagg, and Miss Congeniality Madison Miller. And along with the Miss Fulton County, we crowned the Little Miss Fulton County, um, Miss Aubrey Wilson. And her court includes first runner-up Avery Montel and second runner-up Micaiah Harding. So, I got exciting a, evening. I got to make a comment about Aubrey. Uh, she, her mother is part of the first federal team. Congratulations. Okay, now new queen, step up the mic here. Right <laughs> and like I told you before you went on the air, enunciate and okay, talk slowly. Okay, tell us what you've been doing in high school and what your plans are for the future. Okay, I plan to go to Purdue in the fall. Um, Yay! There you go. That's, that's why you wanted that's to know, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, to study animal science. And while I was in high school, I did at the Bay, and of course I was a 10-year 4-H member and involved in various other clubs as along with that. So you were in FFA at Caston? Yes, I was. How, how did you get interested in FFA and, and the farming industry? Uh, well, my family's always kind of been involved in it, so it's always kind of been a tradition, so I just kind of followed in, and um, it really paid off and taught me a lot of things. Good. Okay, what's your plans for summer? besides being the queen out here. <laughs> I work at the Cass County Animal Hospital and I plan to work there until I leave for Purdue. Okay, uh, that's a good experience. Okay, Kyle, uh, the, uh, do you know what year was the first year uh, at the site? <laughs> um, well, I was born in 86 and I'm assuming um, <laughs> it was good for that. Um, I'm, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say, in, I really think it was in the 40s, some sometime. I just yeah, right. just from listening to some of the older members talk on the board. Okay. I, I don't know it exactly. Okay, I, I'll give you a little history, whether you want it or not. 1948. I was okay. in eighth. I was in eighth. I was in eighth grade, and uh, that's when they moved out there to that facility, the 4-H fair, and they got volunteers of which uh, somebody volunteered me to pick up sticks and <laughs> help clean up the place so yeah, so the first fair out there was in 48 48 yeah okay now tell us about some of the improvements that you made in the past year and changes <coughs> get right into the mic um, there's we planted I, I believe there's 21 new trees um, some of them are in the parking lot um, around the buildings food booths um, those uh, I, I think our, our fairgrounds are unique in that way, having a lot of trees and some of those are getting old and so um, we've had to take some down, some of them blew down and so we planted several new trees this year, um, planning on more next year uh, just to keep the shade. Um, a lot of the landscaping that goes on every year in there uh, just to, uh, everybody enjoys pretty flowers so um, try and do that and make the place look good. Um, we've moved the goats. Um, down to um, the old activity center down along the road, kind of reform that barn, and um, they're going to have their own show ring. Um, we ran a new water line down there, um, so they so everybody walk in the gate and turn right to go down to the goat barn this year. Now, what do the goats think about being? <laughs> well, uh, Are they it, it, be was, happy it was. I think so. It was kind of a little bit of a request on their part, <laughs> so we would try to accommodate. So. Well, they voted for it. I understood. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I, I think we're all in agreement on it. So I, I, it, I think it turned out nice. So. Okay. Since you're talking about goats, is is there a lot of uh, interest in uh, showing goats? You know, I, I think there is. Um, I, I think it's a, a pretty good sized project. I don't know an exact number, um, but um, it's it's kind of a, just a, a smaller species. It's kind of a. Um, a short short term cost effective um, and so I think that it's it's easy for a lot of kids to get involved in and something that they can kind of keep their hands on okay. so. well yes and I think worldwide there's uh, 
more goats than any other animal. That could be. There's a lot. Of <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what what other changes have you made? You're, you're planting trees. Yes, we are. Yep. Um, put a new roof on the rabbit barn, clear on the north end of the fairgrounds. Um, having a couple leaks in there, so we put put new tin on that. Um, the wash rack at the beef barn, which uh, has been there probably as about as long as the fairgrounds has been out there. Um, no, we didn't have one. No, we didn't have <laughs> one. So maybe in the fifties then. <laughs> Um, that, that got all tore out and, and redone basically all donation um, so that that turned out really nice and it's a little bit bigger than it was and a lot nicer so okay uh, you mentioned about donations and you got fair sponsors uh, yes. you want to talk about that um, I, I don't have a list in front of me well but first federal is one first of them. federal okay. is one of okay. them. put that one on the top yeah, yeah. Um, and there, we just thank thank all of our sponsors. There's there's a long list. Um, so so many people give to the fair, and um, that's that's what makes things go. And we're just um, appreciative of, of everyone that volunteers or and gives money, and um, it just it that's it, it, it's what makes things happen. So we thank thank all of our sponsors. Well, we're talking to Kyle Clausen, uh, whose uh, family lineage goes way way back to uh, Grandpa and. Uh, uh, and Ron, your yep. your father, all involved in the 4-H program at the uh, Clawson Amphitheater is named after your uh, grandfather. Yep, yep. Wow. So yep. that uh, goes way, way back. You've got several events coming up at the Amphitheater during Fair Week, we don't do. you? Yeah, we do. Um, try to try to keep it full, um, give, give people things to go to. So. Starting this Saturday? This Saturday, okay. yeah. Uh, combine Derby, um, car rollover, figure eight race. Um, it's always kind of interesting. Um, I actually got a combine to run in it. All right. So start the fair off with a bang. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. I thought you were probably a reasonably intelligent person. <laughs> I got a seatbelt, so. Uh, you have to wear a hard hat for that? Yeah, you do. No, yeah. I would think yep. so, yeah. Helmet and a seatbelt. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Go to it. Yep. All right. What are some of the other events that uh, um, and uh, talk, tell us about the uh, auction on Sat on Friday? Okay. Um, well, like I said, Saturday evening, the um, Combine Derby car rollover. Um, there's nothing in there Sunday evening. The, the Vesper service is um, up at the show arena. Um, Monday evening is the um, Pig Mud Wrestling Contest that we've done the last couple years. Um, that's no, always a lot of fun. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wasn't there some issues about the poor pigs? There, no. We're, we're nice to them. <laughs> well, there you go. Sure <laughs> you're nice to them. That's right. Yes, yeah, you got them in the mud. Just, just, yep, just a, a hug in the mud. That's kind of what it is. <laughs> okay. Um, so, and then uh, Tuesday evening there's the rodeo again. Um, starts at 7.30. Um, that was a big event last year. A lot of people. Um, we expect the same. Excuse me, the same again this year. Um, Wednesday evening, the tractor pull, um, and something different we're doing there this year. Um, G and M Farms and Pioneer, um, Alan, Alan Don, Marvin Murphy. Um, those guys are um, kind of paying for everybody's admission with the one stipulation: you have to wear Pioneer. A logo, a hat, a shirt, okay. something. So dig deep in your closets, call a, your neighbor farmer, <laughs> see if he's got an extra hat to borrow. Um, bring out your pioneer gear, and um, they'll they'll pay your admission. A decal won't do it. I, I don't think that'll work. No. <laughs> um, so a, a, okay, adults now. as well as kids. Okay, so, so they're they're going to pay your admission. Uh, you got some other things going on in the parking lot for, for parking. Tell That's, us about that. Yep. Um, Smith Family Farms, um, if you bring uh, one non-perishable food item um, and turn that in there to the parking lot, they will pay for your parking. So if you get free parking and free admission to the tractor pull, all you got to do is buy an elf and ear and you got a knife. All set, ready to go. So, yeah. Right. Yep. So um, Thursday night, the um, Nape Theater, the um, Reed's Racing Dirt Bikes and ATVs. Um, and then Friday evening we have um, dirt drags, which is kind of interesting, um, along with the livestock mm -hmm. auction um, up at the show ring. And then Saturday night we always end with the demolition derby. Right. So. And 
Tell us about the auction. The auction, it actually moved back an hour. Um, I believe it starts at 5 instead okay. of 4. Friday, so Friday, 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 Friday. Yep, and the spotlight sales at 7. Yep. Okay, that's a big fundraiser and uh, a big event, and uh, so mark your calendars on that. Yep. Okay, Reagan, uh, you've been in charge of the Queen Contest for several years, mm -hmm. and you've made some changes. Have you got any changes in mind for next year? We have talked to a couple other counties, and along with the Little Miss pageant, they kind of recommended to bring in a bigger crowd and get more girls involved to maybe do a little, or not a little, but um, a Miss Teen Fulton County. Okay. So maybe so offer that from girls ages. 13 to 16. Do so we have a third category? You course. have a third category. Mm -hmm. Good. So you're thinking about doing that? Mm -hmm. you, it's you, a possibility. You, yeah, you used to have the Queen Contest on Sunday night, right? We used to have it on Sunday night. Why did you change? We changed it. Last year, the chamber put on the parade, I think the Friday before the fair opened. So we kind of wanted to have our new Queen crown to kick off the fair. Yeah. And it just worked out so well having it Thursday evening at the high school that it just we decided to keep it there and keep it on Thursday. It gives the queen and her court some time to prepare for the following week and get everything in order. Let's not, let's, not, I just, let's not lose sight of the fact that we're talking about all the activities that are going on. This whole thing is centered around 4-H, right? I mean, now that's the whole that's the whole emphasis of what we're trying to do here with the 4-H fair, right? Yes. That's right. Okay. Well, Lisa, congratulations. Yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah. 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 Way to uh, go. Now you gotta you gotta walk around the fair and look like a queen. That's right. And, which I, I plan on it. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Good. Yeah, and I might mention uh, that uh, 4-H is just not only for farm kids. Exactly. All of our kids were involved. In it. My wife was in 4-H uh, uh, for 10 years. I was in 4-H for 10 years, and uh, it's, it's a really a great experience. And, and, and our uh, trivia was that how many people are involved in how many students. Is it 287, 352, or 443? I'll go with the biggest number. Okay, it's correct. Four, okay. Four, four, over 400 are involved. And then the little ones, there's 101 involved in that. Uh, what was that eight, uh, age 8 to 10 or something like that? Do you find those numbers holding their own, maybe growing a little bit? I think in the recent years they're starting to grow. Again. Okay, good, yeah. good. Well, as I mentioned, that uh, all of our kids were involved in 4-H, and uh, none of them are farming. One's a doctor, one's a lawyer, sure. one's a CPA. So right. The, the experience that they got there, and I got a text from one of them. Last night, Dad, remember the turmoil of getting ready for the fair. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody goes through that, don't they? <laughs> yeah. That's right. Well, of course, the motto of 4-H uh, of is make the best better. Right. Yeah, but here's a statement by Aristotle. I'm ready. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not a single act, but a habit. Ah, well said. Well said. All right, 4 each guys, thanks very much for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Dick Belcher, congratulations on your 50th open house today. We look forward to being there. Uh, we'll see you down there about 11. Yep. And Channel 4 is going to be down yep. there. and So uh, we'll see you then. It's going to be a great day. And Scotty, again, thanks for being here in the studio this morning. All on the First Federal Program. Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender.